Hi, I'm Susie and I've been living and travelling in my van Lucy for just over two years. I've travelled across 10 countries from Scotland in the UK all the way through Europe to Northern Norway, back down to Southern Spain and into Portugal. It's been an incredible life-changing journey and I've even written a book, Let Go, Fly Free. Follow me as I explore this beautiful country to find land and my new home to live a sustainable and self-sufficient life. It's just so windy and these rocks are just so crazy. Just on the top of the cliff, it's so windy. And I'm not sure why no one else is coming down here either. <laughs> Maybe you're not supposed to, but... Hmm. When have I ever done? really what I'm supposed to do. Oop. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like there's a big drop off the end here. Oh. Oh now. There isn't. scared. <laughs> oh my god, always a little scared. Like I don't think any huge waves are suddenly gonna jump out at me. Can you hear that sound? Ooh. It's just a little tricky coming down these steps here like with no um, holding the phone. So I am scared though to go near the edge, I have to say. Okay. Let's be the brave warrior that I can be. Can you hear that? Hopefully there's like not gonna fall, the rocks are gonna fall. Wow. <laughs> or maybe it does splash up here, but it doesn't look wet here. I can't, I can't go any nearer the edge. I'm sorry. I'm just the hearing of this water is cool. <laughs> Welcome to Alcabasa, I think, and this is uh, one of the oldest monasteries in Europe. Oh no, maybe just in Portugal. Anyway, it's pretty impressive. I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to pan around. It's a really quaint little town with lots of cobbled streets and lots of yeah, nice little restaurants to sit and eat at. It's actually a really nice area um, around here. So I'm inside the monastery. Oh wow. 
Look at that beautiful orange tree. That's a great fading. It is stunning in here. It cost six euros. This is the tomb of King Pedro and over there is the woman he wanted to marry, the woman he loved, but his father had her killed because she was just a woman. So this is a novel idea, not real candles. You put the money in and the candle lights. Just doesn't feel the same to me. Welcome to Nazare, the home of the 50 foot waves. And uh, you can see today it's very calm here, but from September, October, these waves are going to get bigger. And this is where they hold the world championships for, um, for surfing, of course. So I hope to return here in the winter and record some of those massive waves. nothing better than watching the sun set uh, from a comfy seat in my van <sighs> feel very blessed Sarah's air in central Portugal the southern central Portugal really and these are just small mountains but they have some amazing The British Demira de Aire is the largest cave in Portugal and it's one of many that um, is in the Serres de Aire Natural Park and um, my videos really do not do it justice. Um, it is a truly um, magnificent place and um, I think the best caves I've ever seen. I'm loving this cool little picnic spot um, that I have found in the Serras de Aire, um, which is in the southern part of central Portugal, if that makes sense, on the west side. And I'm not sure if you can see, but oh yes, you can. It's uh, like small mountains here, really and a beautiful natural park and whoops i'm just going to show you here so this is like the view from the van inside so i'm literally parked in this beautiful wooded area and uh just cooking up some pasta actually 